portfolio bid strategies in Google Ads and understand what they are, how they are different from bid strategies in general, why you need to worry about them, why should you care and how you can make good use, great use of portfolio bid strategies to turn campaign performance to your advantage. So first of all, the bid strategies are generally now shifting towards uh, smart bid strategies, right? So essentially now all the bid strategies are shifting towards two essential bid strategies. One is maximize conversions or maximize conversion value, where with maximize conversion, you can add TCPA, target CPA goal. With maximize conversion value, you can add target return on ad spend, target ROAS goal, right? So as you can see in all of these campaigns, I have added target uh, return on ad spend, target ROAS goals, right? So if I can do this, why do I need to worry about portfolio bid strategies? And glad you asked because when you set up, let's say, for example, I have set up 650% as the target bid, uh, target ROAS bid for this campaign, right? What am I telling Google? I'm telling Google that, hey, Google, my budget is 100 per day and I want, you know, 650 per day as my revenue. Can you go and get that for me? Google says, very well, I will try and get that for you. But what Google is not telling me is that to be able to get that 650% ROAS, it's going to set my bids at its will. Which means that my campaign might be eligible for getting, you know, uh, not 60, but 600, 6,000% uh, ROAS. But because I have given this goal, Google will try and bid where it sees fit. You know, the AI is at work here. Uh, machine learning is at work here. So Google's machine learning models are going to set bids for individual auctions where it sees that it can has it has all the learn uh, you know calculations at its disposal to see on which auction it needs to increase decrease my bid and how aggressively it can get get the you know get, get the bids up to earn a click and sometimes it can go insane. I have seen that when there is a maximize, uh, not maximize clicks, with maximize clicks also, but with target CPA bids, I have seen uh, CPC is going crazy high, right? Some, sometimes as high as $10, whereas the same click would have been earned for 50 cents. And that happens only because you are letting Google, you're giving Google this liberty to go and worry about only your target CP or target ROAS goal and not worry about your average CPC. And it can use this liberty to bid as aggressively as the model suggests to bid for, for an individual auction. And the end result is that you might get the 650% ROAS, in which case I'm getting here 1600 ROAS. But could this have been better? Possibly yes. So to counter this situation and add an extra leash on Google's machine learning models bid strategy here, what we can do is we can use portfolio bid strategy and say that, hey, Google, by the way, 100 per day is the budget, 650 is the target ROAS, but you cannot bid more than $1 for clicks. And imagine when you do that, you're going to you know, have two levers three levers like you had the budget and bid strategy target cpu target ROAS goal as the lever but now you have the third lever which is you are restricting google from bidding higher than one dollar for an individual click right how do you do that so go to tools uh, bid strategies here under budgets and bidding yes and go to bid strategies and create a portfolio bid strategy so click the plus button You'll see I have a bunch of bid strategies created here, portfolio bid strategies. So ours was target ROAS, right? So create a target ROAS bid strategy, name it TROS with dollar one cap. Okay. And currency is default, owner is guided to PC, target ROAS bid is 650, and bid cap is now it's hiding it's it's hidden right google is hiding this option so advanced option and go to minimum bid limit is let's say nothing max bid limit is one dollar 
right? Important thing to note is that this will not work for display only campaigns as if we run display only campaigns. We don't, we never do. If you're running display only campaign, I don't know why you're doing this unless you have money to waste. We don't run display only campaign. So we're not going to bother about it. Uh, you know, we might sometimes run display remarketing campaign, display dynamic remarketing campaign, but not display only campaign. And with display dynamic remarketing campaign, we will not worry too much about, uh, you know, bid limits. We can probably use a bid a strategy like maximize click and stuff. So with this, this is the, this is the cap guys. This is, this is the important part here. Maximum bid limit. You are saying that, and Google is smart enough to not say that you are seeing maximum CPC bid limit, but you can always roll over this question icon and see maximum CPC bid limit is the maximum amount you will pay for each click. Bid limits won't be used in display only campaigns. So Google is sometimes plays these tricks with the interface. Like, you know, it won't tell you specifically unless uh, you, you're really, really into it. So a lot of like more than 99% of the, uh, you know, Google ads experts would never care to read these, you know, tool tips. Like, what is this about? I, like people are ignorant. Uh, but if you care, if you pay attention, this is what you can, you can discover. So it's maximum CPC bid limit, unless Google tells you, you don't know what is bid limit. It doesn't say CPC bid limit unless you see here, right? So you can apply this and then apply this portfolio bid strategy with campaigns, dollar one cap. Okay. And you can then apply this link campaigns here. You can select campaigns to link, link here. So let's say I link the first one. So go into the particular account uh, and then select a campaign that you want to link it to and then done. You're done. That is portfolio bid strategy. Hope you understand and hope you take advantage of this bid strategy and not just do uh, use bid strategies at how it appears at the surface level, but go beyond. This is where that 1% difference, that the, the top 1%, this is how they do it. So I've just given you one uh, awesome tool. <laughs> All right, cool. Cheers. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you are a business uh, seeking professional help with Google ads, go to garrettppc.com and ask for a free audit. If you're spending more than $5,000 a month, we'll be happy to review your campaigns, give you some quick wins, and also give you an actionable report, actionable plan that you can use to optimize campaigns yourself. Or if you don't want to take the headache of managing campaigns yourself, you would rather, you would rather focus your time and energy on growing your business, then leave it to us. Google Ads is the only thing we do, and we do it really well. All you have to do is hire us, pay us $6.99 a month and, you know, we do everything for you on Google Ads and we send you a weekly report uh, every uh, two weeks. We hop on a call together where we walk you through the performance and tell you what we are up to uh, and ask you if something has changed uh, on your side uh, that we can align with and then together we scale your account through the roof, make you more money. And in the process, um, make money together. You know why? Because we charge six ninety nine per month as the fixed fee until you spend uh, more than, start spending more than $14,000 a month. Once you do that, we change the six ninety nine to 5%, which is greater than six ninety nine at that point. And you pay the 5% flat uh, on your monthly ad spend. And obviously, if you st start spending serious amount of money, like more than 100K, more than 500K, more than a million, at those intervals, the percentages come down and it comes down to even 2%. So there we go. That's how we roll. Thank you so much. Hope this fi you find this helpful. And I will be, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow with another video and share some Google Ads insights, some of my strategies, some of my perspective. Cheers. Bye.